Joining us now to talk about the importance of centering women and the need for equality is Dr. Jacqueline Haller from the University of Northern British Columbia. Jacqueline, first things first, why is an international day to celebrate women such an important thing for us to do? I think, you know, we often think that's uh, that's something from yesterday. I think in, in Canada, in North America, we're living in one of the most gender equal parts of the world. But it's important to remember that, A, we've still got a way to go. And second, globally speaking, women are still disadvantaged in some really significant ways. So it's important to both celebrate all of the changes that have happened. And there are so many positive things to celebrate. And also to look at what still needs to be done. And there's a lot to be done. Jumping off of that, where can changes still be made? I think, you know, again, I would I would kind of split that up into here at home in Canada and globally. Here at home in Canada, first of all, we know that not all women are doing equally well. So certain groups of women, Indigenous women, immigrant women, racialized women, poor women, single moms, we have a lot of women who are, who are struggling and who are facing discrimination and all kinds of barriers. And I think we need to look at that and do better. Um, there are also issues that face all women in Canada, such as the persistence of the wage gap. And women are still working in very much the same industry Industries that they worked in 30 years ago. So we we have an absence of women in STEM um, at in, in leadership positions in business, right? And all of those things have knock on effects in terms of women's ability to um, earn wealth. Um, to support their families, all of those kinds of things. Uh, finally, women in Canada are still doing a lot of unpaid care work, much more unpaid care work than women. And in the COVID pandemic, that showed up as a really significant factor for women, making the pandemic worse for many of them than it really needed to be. So that's within Canada. I mean, globally, there are even more severe indicators to deal with, including you know, violence against women, the fact that globally speaking, women still only have about 75% of the right that men have. So in many countries, women are just legally discriminated against. Um, and, you know, a whole plethora of problems from literacy to unpaid work to, um, to ill health and maternal mortality. On the global stage, those are major challenges we still need to be dealing with. So, you know, it's estimated that at the current you know, at the current rate of progress, we're still looking at a couple of hundred years <laughs> to eliminate some of those gaps globally. And I think we can do better. Thanks so much for joining us and happy International Women's Day. Happy International Women's Day to you and thank you for your time and happy International Women's Day to all watchers of this program. Thanks a lot.